Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 16th of 2023 is titled Crescent Enceladus. So what do we see here? Well, let's zoom in and take a look at the image. And what we see is this is one of the moons of Saturn. Now to get it to see it as a crescent, we have to travel out toward Saturn to be able to see this. And that's because any object seen from Earth that is farther away from the sun is going to look like it's a full phase. You actually have to travel out beyond that object to be able to see it as a crescent. So in other words, you have to be looking back toward the sun to be able to see the crescent phase. And here we see that and Enceladus is a very interesting moon. This image was taken in 2016. Uh, looking at this from the Cassini spacecraft, which orbited Saturn and studied the planet and its moons for a deck over a decade. Now, this is a very interesting moon in that it is extremely reflected. It's about as bright as very fresh snow, reflecting 90% of the light that impacts on it. So 90% of the light making it extremely bright. Our moon, on the other hand, reflects about 10 or 15 percent of the light that strikes it. So our moon is extremely dark where our moon reflecting this much light, it would look many times brighter than it does in the sky here. It's also a very active moon, which is unusual for such a small moon. It's only about 500 kilometers or maybe about 300 miles across. Now that makes it a relatively small to medium sized moon, but is extremely active. Now we generally associate activity with larger objects. So things like Earth tends to be active and it's one of the one of the larger of the terrestrial planets. Smaller things like our moon are very inactive and old and dead. However, this moon is much smaller than our own moon and is still very active. So that's a big question to astronomers as to why this moon shows so much activity. Now a difference with it is that while it's activity and what do we mean? We mean geological activity. So things like volcanic activity that occur. Now on Earth volcanic activity is associated with molten rock that erupts out of this from this below the Earth's surface. And that makes volcanoes of course that we see here on Earth. Well volcanoes on Enceladus would not be made of molten rock but instead of molten ice. And I know that sounds a little strange. But at the temperatures that exist out here, ice would behave very much like rock and under certain pressures could be expelled outward and could erupt much as lava does here on Earth. Now, the studies of this uh, we have seen recently um, water vapor and ice being expelled from regions around the south pole of this moon. Now that shows that there is some kind of activity. So even if we don't understand the reason yet, we do know that this kind of activity does exist and we just have to look for the explanation. So that was our picture of the day for December 16th of 2023. It was titled Crescent Enceladus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be the same color. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.